Hey, so we are here at neopets.gov.org, the website of all time. You may or may not recognize it right now because this page is a little wacky, but (laughs) there's a lot going on over here at Neopets right now. We're kind of in a weird place with this with this website right now. It's fine, but before I get into all that, we'll explore it. I just want everyone to know, if you don't already, that I'm currently hyper-fixated on Neopets um, for the 500th time of my life. I am like Neopets alumni that's kind of come back for round two. The, this account that I'm uh, on right now is actually a couple of years old because I did this like a couple of years ago <laughs> and now I'm doing it again. So a lot of these pets are pets that I've had for a couple years. There are some new ones though. So I figured we just play Neopets today and I'd kind of show you guys around. I think I'm going to, you know, do my dailies, do this and that, but I also kind of want to just like explore the website and kind of give you guys and kind of show you guys around Neopets through my eyes because this place means the literal world to me and there's a lot of uh, things about it that are so, so amazing. Even though uh, Neopets as a whole has fallen quite far from its prime, but it's kind of in this weird limbo position right now where like the website fucking sucks. It's so weird. But at the same time, there's some good things about it. And then there's some terrible things about it, but they're like working on it. And allegedly things are going to get better right now. I would say Neopets is still fun for me (laughs) clearly because here I am. However, it is severely lacking because of flash going away. So while I still have fun playing it, um, there's so much that's missing. And I think from what I've heard, they're trying to like fix that and optimize it and like redo it to where you can play shit again. Cause there's like fucking eight games you can play. Whereas there used to be hundreds. It's like, it's really, really sad over here at at neopets.com. It really is. Things are not good, but if anything, I kind of like that it's a little messy right now. Furthermore, this isn't like a great time to make a new neopets.com account, I would say, because there's been like a huge security breach. So just be careful. Make sure to change your password to something fucked up and crazy and like just be really careful. So here I am. This is apparently the front page now, but you'll see that it does this weird thing where it swaps and switches back and forth between like the old desktop version and this. And you can also probably notice if you know anything at all about Neopets that I have quite a few bougie ass pets. Like these are pretty much all bougie ass pets. You know, I hate the rich. I really do, but I am the rich in this game, at least a little. I'm actually not that rich in the grand scheme of things, to be honest especially because I just blow all my Neo points as soon as I get them. Like within a couple days of playing again, (laughs) I looked at my bank account, I had a lot of points. So I went and I got like a stealthy paintbrush and I made a stealthy Geller and now I don't have as much as I used to. But look at him though, this is one of my newest pets, Ryland. So uh, yeah, I figured I'd show you around, show you my pets and do my dailies and then also just kind of show you why I love this website so much and why like I really, really, really want to hold on to it and hope that it has a renaissance era that would make me so happy I'm like manifesting that for 2023. We need it. We need it so bad. All the Neopets like get fed again. That would be just beautiful. So I'll start by like showing you my pets, I guess, because I've worked really hard on them. And for the longest time, like I just wasn't showing anybody my pets. Okay. I guess I can't, I guess I don't know what I'm doing actually. (laughs) I thought I was going to like pull them up. Maybe I'll just go to customize because I have to fix Ryan's face anyway. This isn't a good way to do this actually. (laughs) Whatever, I'm just gonna show you here. Okay, this is Mosin, and he's a baby loop. This was one of my dreamies when I was really young, and I did have a baby loop back in the day. This was like the first dreamy I ever like achieved. My old account got fucking frozen. It got it got purged, and it was devastating because when I did have my my Neopets resurgence back in like 2018 when I made this account. I attempted to get onto that account and it was gone (laughs) and all my pets are gone and I didn't do anything wrong. And like if you search, because I do remember some of my old pets' names, if you search their names, it says it incriminates me. I never did shit Neopets. And it says the owner of this pet had their account frozen. It's like so scandalous. I didn't do anything. I didn't have my account frozen, but they took my baby Mincy, my baby Loop. What else? I had a fairy Poogle. I had a bunch of other shit. I don't even remember, actually. I know I had a white hissy. I had some bougie pets back there. But honestly, these pets are even better because their names are perfect, too. So this is Mosin. He's probably my best pet. I want to go. I'm, I don't want to show you here. I'm sorry. I'm such a fucking mess. Damn it. I want to show you on their pages. See, I still don't fucking know how this fucking shit works. Like, honest to God, it's such a mess. Okay, this is how I wanted to go. So this is Mosin. He's my baby loop. He's my best pet. I definitely like went crazy 
investing in his future last time I was here. He's an ultimate genius, excellent movement, amazing, amazing, just incredible. He's not like the best he could ever be, but he's really, really good, honestly. And then we have the new girl in town. This is one of my ultimate dreamies, but she's not done yet. I can't wait to show you guys what, what my goal is for her. It's gonna take a lot of work. Maybe I have like a few tricks up my sleeve, but so she's a Lutari. And if you don't know the tea about Lutaris, they are very hard to get because... <laughs> Neopets.com is a fucking disaster of a human being and rolled out this whole new place called Lutari Island. And it was going to be this whole like mobile thing, this blah, blah, blah. I don't know, this thing where you could go there and create a Lutari. Well, that didn't end up happening. <laughs> and instead of like fucking doing something else, they just didn't. And it's still there to this day, actually. And by the way, notice how it went back to, so this is like the old site and it's Christmas for some reason. Like what? <laughs> There's snow falling. There's like a Christmas like Yerbal and a Bruce over here. What? Neopets.com. And then a really sad thing is you go to the map of Neopia and you know how they used to have the planet there? Where's that? It's gone. <laughs> and only some of the, like some of the lands will have their old map show up, but some won't. It's devastating and really hard to um, navigate. So I feel really bad for the people who are just getting into Neopets. Like, like I kind of have my whole Discord server on a Neopets kick right now. <laughs> You're welcome. We're having so much fun though. We like go, we all pound surf together. And some of my friends have found, have found drakes in the pound, fucking crocs in the pound. I mean, they're finding some badass shit in the pound. The pounds are popping off right now, just to let you know. But anyway, this is how you get, this is the map right now, which is devastating. But here's Lutari Island. Look at this. And it's been that way for 15 years. I'm not kidding you. It's just so mysterious. Nobody's ever gone there. What is going on at Lutari Island? But apparently this was where you're supposed to be able to create a Lutari. It didn't pan out. And so Neopets just made it so that like it's 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 almost impossible to get a Lutari. And I mean, granted, they're like any other. So there's limited edition pets, if you don't know, because I'm just full force going right into this as if you are a Neopet scholar like I am. So there's a bunch of different pet species and there are several species of them that are limited edition and you can only get them, you can only create them on their specific pet day because every pet has a special day. And they usually like roll out a new color for that pet on the day and they celebrate the pet all day. And for the limited edition pets, those pets will be available at certain times to create and create a pet. That's one day a year, bitch. So a lot of people end up getting their limited edition pets through the pound. <laughs> we'll get back to that one in a minute when it comes to Miss Lutari over here. But um, yeah, you can go to the pound and get one usually. Or you can use a morphing potion, which they are very expensive and hard to get. Or you can use a magical plushie, which is even harder to get and so on. So um, basically it's really hard to get um, a limited edition pet, but it's even harder to get Miss fucking Lutari over here because for some reason, unbeknownst to anyone on earth, the Lutari is designed to run away, quote unquote, when you try to pound them, when you try to put them in the pound. And I don't know about transfers, actually. I'm pretty sure that's probably the case too, that you can't transfer them. I don't know. I'm just going to say it is because I want the drama, but let me know if it actually is or not. But um, you can't find them in the pound the, because they don't go to the pound. They'll just run away and disappear forever, by the way, which is devastating. Like imagine somebody tries to like, cause back in the day we didn't have the transfer option and we used to have to pound drop shit and it was so terrifying. Cause if you didn't get right away, if you didn't put the name in right away, someone else would just get your pet that you like had applied to adopt and you made this whole fucking website as an application. It was fucked up back then. It really was the wild west. And um, Lutaris will just run away if you try to pound them. So I was like, oh my God, I'm gonna have to save up for a Lutari morphing potion, which is so expensive. And then I'm gonna have to save up for a Moroccan paintbrush because y'all, you're gonna fucking scream, okay? And that is the Moroccan Lutari. It's a fucking axolotl. <laughs> it's a leucistic axolotl. I screamed when I saw this. This must have come out when I stopped playing the last time I played because my friend Ashley, shout out to Ashley, showed me this and I was like, oh my fucking God. I can't even look at the thing without wanting to scream at the top of my lungs. This is one of the greatest pet colors in, in modern day history, genuinely, especially unconverted because that's a whole thing too. I think most of you know about that. I won't get too into it. Actually, I probably will. There's a, a whole a bunch of deep dives, but basically they changed the art from like, it was really, really good. And they made it all standard so that you could customize your pets, but they like 
didn't give us the choice to keep our pets unconverted to the old art, which is so much better in everybody's opinion. And so a lot of pets that used to be really cute look like shit today. Perfect example of that is my alien Asia that I'll show you in a minute. But um, this pet as like a quote unquote converted, like after the conversion pet is, is just perfect, incredible. Like the design is 10 out of 10. I mean, I'm, um, anyway, so that's her end goal. Her name is Kaliu. That's how I pronounce that. <laughs> Kaliu, I think. Kali, Kaliu. Because you just got to be creative when you're trying to name these creatures. But the way I got a Lutari is actually, and this isn't to promote paying real money for neopets.com, by the way. But apparently, if you do sign up for their premium membership, which I'm a sucker, I've signed up for it, capitalism, whatever, you can actually change any pet into any species you want once a year, which is fucking crazy. That is not how we used to operate back in the day. I can't believe the amount that drakes and crocs, for example, have depreciated. <laughs> like, oh my god. I never in a million years would have thought that I would have a drake myself, but I do. Because they started kind of just giving out pirate morphing potions and pirate drake eggs. Almost a dime a dozen, not really. They're still expensive, but they used to be like tens of millions of dollars. And so that's how I got this guy, but I'll go in order. So you saw Mosin, that's Kaliu. This is my alien Asia. I took off her helmet last night. I don't know if I like it, but um, oh, this is a boy. I always call Rasmus a girl, even though he's a boy. He used to be a croc too. I actually turned him into a Asia so that I could get him painted alien from a fountain fairy quest because this has always been a pet that I wanted. It's really, really rare. The only way you could get one, I think, is fount fountain fairy quest or lab ray. And I am so sorry if you have no idea what I'm talking about right now. There's like so much. Neopets is so in-depth. Just wait till we get to the lore. I think I should put his helmet back on because he can't breathe in space. I feel bad. I was like customizing them yesterday, which I never, I, it took me a long time to get into doing that because we, back in the day, we didn't customize our pets. This is the new boy in town and I really love him. I think I want to change his eyes back though. I gave him these weird like contact lenses and I don't think I like it, but this is Ryland and he is a stealthy Gellert and I love him. As soon as I saw the design, I was like, <gasps> I need him. And I like very, very impulsively just went and got a stealthy paintbrush and did this. <laughs> he's got like emo anime boy white hair that I love so much. And he's like dressed like a ninja and stuff. And I think he's like one of the best designs ever, especially for a Gellert. And I've always loved Gellerts and I haven't had one in so long. So I just love him so much. And he's my newest pet. And then we have Circa. I don't know if I like that cape on her, honestly. Is there something in her mouth? Is this on her mouth? I don't know. It, I, why do I call them all girls? This is a boy too. Like it was literally just a huge problem the other day when I realized all my pets were boys. I had to go make Kaliu a girl because because I don't like men. Like why did I do that? So this is Circa and he is a Moroccan Drake. And I think I hate this cape. Yeah, and I think I hate his eyes like this. So that's, I'm just playing Neopets, okay guys? And you're just gonna be here while I play it. So I think, yeah, I put, I put possessed eyes on him. Why did I do that? He's got like these cool blue eyes. Why the hell did I do that? Why did I do that, actually? Is, is, is like a great question. And then I think I want to put his helmet back on. <laughs> I think I made some mistakes yesterday. I made several mistakes. I was just trying to be like everybody else. And I ended up fucking up. I ended up making some mistakes, I think. So where's his helmet? Because he's in space right now. He's like suffocating. Put your helmet on, girl. There. I kind of like that better. Or do I? Yeah, I do. And then I think I'm going to take Circus Cape off. <sighs> but like I paid good money for that. Whatever. Yeah, he's so much cuter without the cape. I wish it looked better. It just doesn't look that good, Circa. But now he's naked. <laughs> now he's naked, but there's nothing I, I, I have nothing I can put on you because you're a Moroccan creature and like, I just don't have anything for you, baby. But whatever, I'm just gonna keep him naked for now. He's in the ocean, he's a creature, he's an animal. <laughs> anyway, I guess I'm just gonna start by doing my dailies. This, we didn't have this back in the day. Trudy surprise. Who the hell is Trudy? Can I like, just want to shake her hand, honestly. She really brought Neopians out of poverty, genuinely. Miss Trudy here, socialist queen, socialist icon, wanted to give everybody a basic universal income. <laughs> so we have this thing and I just, I wasn't here for this initially. I don't know the backstory of this because you, you lose every day and yet you get money every day. And then on the last day of 30 days, 
you get 100,000 NEO points. This has really brought the Neopian economy back from the brink, honestly. So I love Tr- Miss Trudy and Miss Trudy's surprise here at jellyneo.com. And they like put all your dailies in one place, which is really helpful for someone like me whose brain doesn't work. Um, before I get started, I and before I forget, I want to shout out one of my favorite Animal Crossing creators, fellow Animal Crossing creator, and also fellow Neopets legend. But I shouldn't even say that. That was like actually so wrong of me to say because it took all myself a Neopets legend while they exist. It's not even fair. It's actually really embarrassing for me. Uh, shout out to Kevin from Kevino Gaming. Go check out his YouTube channel. This is a Neopets legend, okay? And he was on Last Crosser Standing with me and he was so sweet to me and so nice to me and so funny and I just love him so much and we bonded about Neopets and he has these videos of like playing Neopets in 2022 that you have to check out if you have any interest in Neopets at all because it's just, he's a, such a legend. So just really go check him out because if anybody's like eating up Neopets in 2022, it's him. So anyway, here are all of the dailies. Ugh, December for a Neopets player. It's, there's nothing like it, right? Anchor management, however, kind of ruined the economy of the game a little. <laughs> by just handing out morphing potions and drake eggs and shit and the pirate paintbrush like rip to anyone who spent so much time saving up for because back in my day the the pirate paintbrush so if you don't know and I'm trying really hard but I just can't help but to just to talk to you like you know neopets already but basically you get these average pets they come in like four primary colors yellow green blue you red but if you want them to be another color, you have to get generally like a paintbrush, but it, it can also be like a morphing potion or like a magic plushie or the lab ray, all of which are incredibly expensive for the most part. Very, very expensive. There's a few like pretty affordable ones, but for the most part to change the appearance of your pet is really expensive. And one of the most expensive paintbrushes used to be the pirate paintbrush until they just started giving them out like free candy. Trash, by the way, if you already have the Forgotten Shore map piece. So thank you, Crockin, for nothing. Uh, I really appreciate it. So yeah, they just started giving out and it wasn't pirate paintbrushes that they were giving out. It was like pirate morphing potions and it just became like so easy to get them. Cause I do remember like back when I used to play Neopets when I was a kid, those pirate paintbrushes were like 10 million Neo points, I think, or maybe even more. Anyway, this is gonna be a good example of the whole flash thing. Ugh. Yeah, that sucks. So I'm gonna bob for apples here, but there used to be like a, like a little thing. I wonder how much of this is worth, probably nothing. Gotta get my interest. I am a bit of a millionaire, but <laughs> I don't have as many as I did because of that stealthy paintbrush, but we're getting there, we're, we're working on it. And I honestly might blow some more Neo points very soon because I have something I want to do, but whatever. At least Trudy's there for me. Trudy will make sure that my that my net worth goes back up. So here's Coltan's shrine. If you don't know about Coltan, Zaddy over here, this is his ghost. He is dead, he died. He got murdered actually in front of our very eyes in broad daylight when I was a child. I watched him get killed at dinner, at his dinner party. So there was like a whole, the thing with Neo pets, like, ugh. Y'all, the thing with Neopets, it's more than just a game. It's like a world. The world building of Neopets, mwah, oh, mwah, mwah, mwah. it's just beautiful. And there are so many things that don't make sense, but it's fine. I'm not even going to go there. Like, why do we keep them as pets when like there's a whole version of them that are like kind of humanoid? It's kind of like Zootopia and they like have lives and stuff. Um, but the whole thing with Colsan, God rest his soul, genuinely. What a, what a good king he was. And he was the king of the Lost Desert until he was murdered, okay, by someone. But we didn't know who at the time. This was one of the first plots that I ever took part in, but Neopets used to, and I don't know if they still do, but they used to have these plots take place. Oh, it was so fun. Everybody got on board. Shit was happening in our real life. We would just be on the site every day and then some shit would go down. Colt San, the king of the lost desert, was fucking killed, murdered, bitch, right in front of us. I was eight. I was like, what? Oh my God. Who killed him? And everybody was like, we don't know. The lights went out or something, right? Was that it? Like the lights went out and when they came back on, he was dead. He was dead, he had been killed. Who did it? And there was like a bunch of people at the dinner and there was like a bunch of people at the dinner and these people were his friends, his family, his children. I'm talking major fucking betrayal, bitch. This was the fucking key of the year. And so we had to figure out who it was. It was a murder mystery like trial dinner thing and y'all are never gonna fucking believe who did it. Oh my God, bitch. 
listen. It, like, this was really, like, the tea of my life. We didn't know who it was, scrambling, because there's, like, a fucking murderer on the loose. And not only a murderer, but they, they assassinated the king, okay? Like, and, and the thing about King Coltsan, like, I am not usually one for the monarchy, but King Coltsan was, first of all, hot as hell. I'm just gonna say it. I am not a furry, and I think that there's nothing wrong with being a furry, and I love the furries. I just am not technically a furry. I give this a disclaimer once a week. <laughs> it's almost as if I'm a furry or something, but I'm not. But Neopets, like, aren't, they don't count as furry. As furries, they drew him hot. They did. They really did draw them pretty hot. Uh, like just such a good king. He was like a, such a nice guy. I, from what I remember, he never did anything wrong. He was just like a really great king, really really sweet guy. And um, the lost desert was like thriving. Everybody was really happy. And then fucking disaster struck. Um, it, the delights did not go off. By the way, it actually ended up being that somebody poisoned his meal. So fucking sneaky. So dirty. So dirty. Like the, don't don't they have like a fucking person that tastes the food before the king, the hot king eats it? Come on. Just a misstep on every level. This should not have happened. I can't believe it. I mean, we do have Colton's shrine now, which is great, but like, I'm still just, I'm not over it. I'm not over it. And you know what? I've come to the like realization that like, I don't have to get over this. I'm never going to get over this. Okay. Like he was murdered in cold blood. But anyway, the people who were at the dinner, Princess Visa, and by the way, uh, nothing about Neopet's family dynamics makes sense. Like he's a loop, but his daughters were, um, she's a Usul. And I think everybody pronounces Neopet species wrong, like some of them. So if I pronounce them wrong, whatever, that's just my way of pronouncing them. There is literally a page on Neopets.com that pronounces them for you, by the way, but I don't want to go there. Um, so his daughter, uh, Princess Visa, is this one, I think, right? The Usul. And then Amira, Miss Amira. She's the icon. She's in Asia. She wasn't there. Miss Amira n had nothing to do with it. She was not there, even though she was the um, heir to the throne. So it's like, was she, did she do it? Did she get somebody to do it for her? I thought it was Senator Palpus, who is a Tuscanini, I think, just because he's really scary looking. And I was like, yeah, he did it. As an eight-year-old, I was like, uh, duh, duh. Do I have to be the one to say it? Who the hell do you think did it? It was either him or this little sneaky advisor or Wessel. And I read that as Weasel when I was younger. So I was like, Weasel did it. Obviously, it was either him, the scary job of the hut guy, or it was him because he's laughing. I mean, he's not dead yet. They're probably having a great time, but like, I just don't trust him, honestly. He's like this trusted aide or whatever. This guy, Senator Palpus, is that him? Yeah, he just was looked scary to me. He looked untrustworthy because he made like a mad face or something like that looks like a mad face to me. I read that as mad. He's like a retired general or whatever. And then there was Senator Barca. I'm doing this right now, by the way. <laughs> it's fine. This is Neopaz. This is what's the experience. Who was a politician. Yeah, and she's in Akara, right? And she was kind of like um, a boss bitch, honestly, actually. I don't think she did anything wrong. And then Princess Sankara, right? Princess Sankara, do you trust her? Right? At the time, I was like, sure. Yeah, I trust her. <laughs> right? Like, <laughs> obviously, she looks kind of like a slime ball, right? Like, kind of like a little, little bit of a snake. Kind of a slimy little bitch right there, right? Little slimy bitch who knows that somebody's got some poison food on his plate. Yeah, because she did it. She ended up doing it. For some reason, I thought for, like, the longest time, I think we were just talking about this, actually, in my Discord server. I was like, it was his stepdaughter. Like, he took her in from the streets. That's not that's not the case, <laughs> apparently. I thought, like, I don't know. That's just how I remember King Cold Sand. Like, he would do something like that. He would, like, take in somebody from the streets. But I, but she is from the streets, honestly. <laughs> she, she fucking coldly and calculatedly just, like, poisoned the king for no reason. Yeah, she did it. Um, she did do it. I think King Coltan apparently, allegedly, didn't help her when she needed help, which I don't believe necessarily because King Coltan would help anyone. He really would help anyone. See, look at this. Yeah, see, this is a quote from the bitch herself, from her fucking mouth. This is what she said. And so I packed my things and made my way through the dunes. It took nearly two weeks, but I finally reached the outskirts of Sackment. Sure enough, King Coltan received me with great warmth and generosity. You bitch. Why did you kill him? If he received you with warmth. See, that's why I thought that he adopted your ass because you fucking, like, he basically did. He was like the father you never fucking had. So yeah, she literally, like, killed him. It was devastating. Devastating. And then, like, oh my God, the, the whole Lost Desert was just in disarray for months while this plot was taking place. And this would happen. 
bitch. This really would happen. First and foremost, like for rule number one, fuck Dr. Sloth, like a genuine fucking evil, evil person. I could go on and on. There is some lore and we'll keep talking about the lore, but I need to really move because I'm trying to do my dailies and I can't keep getting fucking stuck on every little thing. Yes, I can actually. But anyway, um, I actually did not take part in this one. This was a whole one. It's like Altadar or something. And if you took part in this, you get prizes every day. But I didn't take part in this, so I don't get the prizes. But this is King Altadar, also kind of hot. He's like bipedal. I'm not allowed to think he's hot without being a furry? Okay, then fucking take me to jail, I guess. Just wait till I get to the fairies, honestly. Oh my God. So this is the deserted tomb. You just go in here and um, this happens to me every fucking day. Who is it? Who's getting the treasure before me? Show yourself. Turn yourself in. Then you go to the Forgotten Shore. <sighs> nothing of interest to be found today. It's like I wait all fucking day for this and I get nothing. The daily puzzle. Let's see if I can do it without having to look it up. This pet pet is known to easily fall into a bad mood. <sighs> I have to Google it. I don't know. Why should I know that? How would I know that? What do you think? I'm a Neopets scholar. I am, but I will not lie to you. My information is a little bit outdated. So... I can't, I don't know, but thankfully, <laughs> Jelly Neo knows. Jelly Neo will just give you the, the answer because you do get some points from it. So Vullard is the answer. <laughs> I know this one. It's the Vullard. I am a Neopets scholar, so I did know that off the top of my head. I can't go in the dark cave because I don't know... I don't have a light source. Okay, well, let me know how you do this. What the fuck is this? Like, see, there's a bunch of new shit. That's probably not new. I just don't know how to do it, and I don't care. I don't care enough to look it up. Because there's some dailies that just waste your fucking time, honestly. You just get nothing. Like, the, the quarry, the obsidian quarry. Okay, like, thanks for the obsidian that I'm just going to donate to the money tree. And I actually feel like such a bitch when I donate, like, useless shit to the money tree. Honestly. Thanks, guys. Thank you guys so much. Thank you. After all I did for the, for your community. Anyway, we got some giant jelly. Just kidding. I didn't do any. This doesn't, you're, this is a blank page. Weird, huh? There's, like, this running joke that Jelly World doesn't exist. And so we all, like, pretend it doesn't exist. It's cute. It's like the Cody thing. That's the only time I'm ever going to say that canonically. Oh, it's a plain omelet. Gross. See, like, there's some shit you can't fucking do. Actually, you can do this one. You can do it. I'll just do a random one. I think there's something to it. But see, I don't know. I don't I can't explain this shit to you because I don't even know what I'm doing. I have no idea. Oh, thank you, Hamper. Oh, thank you. So what you do for this one is you put one of these, like, little poor, innocent, defenseless pet pets into this, like, literal haunted mansion mausoleum and see if they'll find something for you. Have fun, Moppy. Bye. She, she's going to be in a haunted haunted house for seven hours, a little tiny slug, a defenseless slug, so that I can hopefully get an item that's not worth shit. Yep. And then this bitch, obviously, the, the fairies, I'm allowed to, f f to be attracted to them, obviously. This is why I'm, I'm, I'm not straight, obviously. By the way, while we're here at Fairyland... I do have so I, I have to go get do something in Fairy City. But so yeah, this is Fairyland. The only trace of humanity in Neopia, honestly. And I mean they're not humans, they're fairies. Let's go spin the wheel of excitement, actually. Like look how hot they all are. And they've always been hot, but there's a few major hotties. Why is there randomly sound on? Cool, okay. It's gonna be nothing. Yeah. 302 Neo points. Well, bitch, I spent 500 on the wheel. So the, what that a lot of good that does me. Okay, while we're here in Fairyland, actually, I do have a question. What the fuck is this? What is going on here? People who are still playing Neopets, what is this? Why is this door all bol bol bolted up like this? Like, see, this is the type of shit that you would see happening when there's like an event, when there's a plot happening. So what is that? Is that from some is that from something else? Because I remember there was some shit that went down in Fairyland. Land. Is that like just residual? Like there's a thing here too. What What is this? What is all this? What is that? That just doesn't seem like something Queen Fiora would, would have on her door personally. But I do have a fairy quest fortune cookie because I'm hoping that I get a fountain fairy quest from one of these fortune cookies, which does happen. And just so you know, if you get a fountain fairy quest, like that bitch comes through for you and she will give you the reward for completing her quest. The reward is that she'll paint your pet any fucking color you want, including some colors that like you can't even get anywhere else. 
So, mm, yeah, please be a fountain fairy. Okay, it's not the fountain fairy, but she's really cute, though. Brilliant light blinds you as a phase, a light fairy says, Thank goodness you're here. Please find me advisor Wessel. We were just fucking talking about him. Oh my God. Okay, Neopets.com, reading my fucking conversations. The shitty thing about fairy quest is that you can't use the shop wizard. So it's like, what the fuck do I do? But I'll figure it out. I'll like ask one of my friends at the Discord server to look it up and send me the link. Anyway, this, like this, for example, it's a waste of time. What is this for? Nothing. We don't do anything with this. All I'm going to do is discard it because I think it's a slap in the face, quite honestly, to, to donate it to the money tree. The people who donate dung and poisonous jelly and fucking rotten omelet to the money tree. Like, I hope that you fucking burn in hell, honestly. I hope you burn in hell, honestly. I'm not gonna lie. Like, I really like, how do you fucking sleep at night doing that? It's so disgusting. Look at the money tree. Let's go there right now. People are donating rotting driftwood, a bucket of sludge. How dare you? Old rotten right boot. Broken. Y'all are so fucking wrong for that. There is a discard option. Why are you dumping your fucking trash at the money tree? The friendly old tree has stood here for as long as Neopia has been around. This is here to help people. And y'all are bringing your trash here. How dare you? Shame on you. Shame on you. That is so fucking wrong of y'all. I just discard that stuff. I'm not going to donate it to the money tree. That's like showing up at fucking Goodwill and dumping out your fucking trash bin. And you're like, here you go. This is for the needy. Fuck you. That's so awful. Why? Don't do that, y'all. I know you think you're just getting rid of it, but you are just clogging up the money tree with, with trash. There's this little like rich slorg that you go to this page, it gives you 50 neo points. Rich, okay. 50 neo points, that's all I get. And you're rich, you're claiming to be rich. But then again, if he gives it to every single person in Neopia, that is a lot of money. That is a lot of money that you have to give out. See, look at this, the dump. And you're gonna pick up a pile of shit at the dump, a muddy bone, really? It's just like ridiculous, quite honestly, Neopets. Like, what do you expect us to do with that? It, Tombola is always fucking closed. It's been closed like every day that I've tried to come for the last like two days. What is he going through? Like, I honestly hope the guy's okay. And then this discarded plushie, like I will take him. I don't know why he's still here. He's discarded. He's unwanted. I want him. He's on a tree and stuff. And he's like, somebody left their blue ground. I will take him. He's not discarded any longer, but he's like, he's magic and he usually gives you money and stuff. But I don't know. I told him that I was going to take him and adopt him and he didn't do shit for me. So it's almost as if he's like playing it up a little. He's like, I'm discarded. No one wants me. And then I'm like, okay, I'll take you. And he's like, actually, I never find the treasure. What's new? Anything else? Is there anything else? Let's go check my stocks. Let's go check my stocks at the stock market. I did like sell a lot of them recently. So yeah, shit's not looking great. And just like a, a little helpful tip that it took me years to figure this out is you can only buy stocks if they are over 15, like the number 15 here. I don't know what the, the 15 means. Like this is a good stock to buy. But yeah, you, you can only buy the stocks if they're 15 or more, but don't you dare ever buy anything that's like more than 15 because you buy a thousand of them. That's what you like should do. Or that's what I do. It's probably not what you should do. You should probably like diversify even more than that. But <laughs> I just end up doing this. Is that right? I don't know. <laughs> I've made I've made money off it. I don't know. But so yeah, the lowest you can ever buy like a thousand stocks for is 15,000. But then, you know, they go up and up and up. And, like these ones, what was I thinking? I bought these at 20,000. So what? I've made a thousand off. I'm like, girl, the fuck were you thinking? I bought these for 21,000. What was I thinking? Okay. Yeah. I'm obviously not good at the stock market. Stop looking. Anyway. Um, so yeah, I think that's about it. I don't have the lab rate on this account. Anytime I've ever had the lab rate, I've had the lab rate on several accounts now. Anytime I have ever had the lab rate, and I, maybe I'll do it when I'm bored, but I just have never gotten anything fucking good from it. And I spend, you know, the lab rate is, is so expensive and you spend all this money on it. You run around town trying to find fucking shit for your lab rate. You gotta find a whole map. So the, the lab rate is like a thing and you can, you can unlock it if you get the map and you can do it once a day. You zap a pet and you can potentially change their color to something, but that's just one of the options. You can also like, sometimes you can change their stats and their gender and their species but everybody gets it for like the fact that it can change them into some pretty expensive colors but it's just like 
I never even had it do anything good. And like I did it every day for years. So anyway, that's my daily. Did I forget anything? Like I always, I always sit here and I'm like, that was not a lot. Oh, fairy caverns. I could do that. Damn it. Come on. I never get anything. I am done with my dailies, I think. Did I go to the healing springs? I did. Let's check my shop, see if anything. And then also I should check if this restocked. So that's kind of all I've been doing lately is trying to learn how to do restocking. Not oh, oh, that's not I was gonna say nothing, a whole lot of nothing. But there is 10,000 Neo points here. Yeah, I'm like relearning how to play Neopets. Like I forget how much I, how much money. Oh, you know how I made my money before? <laughs> games and shit and also the stock market and um and restocking but games were like the major way that i made money and now because of fucking flash they're apparently gonna like fix it um but good girl calm down how do i turn the sound of this off so um like i'm really bad at this game also by the way like there's definitely like a huge strategy to it and i don't know what the fuck i'm doing i never know anything um so uh, yeah, I'm probably causing people pain right now because I think I know what I'm doing, but I really don't. Like, I just totally fucked up a ton of shit. Like, this went bad. Ugh, yeah, it's bad. Like, I could have totally made that a huge line, and I didn't because I don't, I don't, my brain doesn't work good for, for shit like this. Like, I only think of it after the fact. Like, it just fucked up that one, too. I'm not very good at Neo Pets, you guys. What the fuck is new? I'm just doing everything but the green so I can try to get a big green streak. But, I mean... <laughs> Like, I'm not doing that either, honestly. Ugh, yeah, not so not so great, Amanda. Not so great. Yikes, yikes, yikes. Yikes, 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 yikes. Anyway, yeah, you can't even play games anymore because of the Flash thing. But they're apparently working on it, but they just don't have enough staff or something. So, like, does anybody want to work for Neopets? Because apparently they're, like, really understaffed. <laughs> And they need more staff to get the games to work or something. So we would just be really doing like a huge, huge service to like the, the entire world, honestly, if you could fix Neopets. If you think you have the skill to do that, like please do apply for Neopets.com today <laughs> because we just really want the site to be fixed. And I get that like Flash is gone, which I actually don't get it actually, as a matter of fact, because we were using that still. Were we not? Like, weren't we still using Flash? Why is it, why is it gone? I don't understand any of that. You could explain it to me a million times too, and I'll still be like, hmm, hmm, okay, hmm. But we were using it still, like, but people were using that. Why did it go away? I just don't quite understand why it had to go away. You know, and they were like, oh, it has to die at this, at this, on this day. Why? Was there a curse or something? Why? Why? Can you just explain it like I'm fucking five? Like I'm dumb as hell. Like I'm a dumb, 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 dumb bitch. Cause I am. I just don't understand. I just don't quite understand. The site is really, really broken without it, but there's still, you can still play it. You know, so I have something I kind of am going back and forth on and I might just do it. It's a little much like I'm trying to save my Neo points, but at the same time, bitch, I don't care. Like I'll just make more, I guess. And I know I told everybody that I'm like saving up for a Moroccan Lutari, but I think I'm just going to try to keep getting a Fountain Fairy quest for that one because bitch, it's just too expensive. Honestly, it's just so expensive. I already bought a really expensive paintbrush on a whim and I'm really happy with the pet that I have from that and there is a pet that I've always wanted and I have so I do have like a little side account and I promise I don't do the dailies on that account because that's illegal love so um oh that's such a bad score I was not paying attention oh god oh yeah I'm, I'm at least a little better than that fuck this I'm out yeah I'm not sending that shit no 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 I can't do this on camera I guess apparently okay so there's a pet I want to make I do have a side account because you're allowed Listen, hear me out. You're allowed to have side accounts for other pets, just not to do the dailies. So I have a little guy on the side account. He's got a great name. I got him in the pound. And I kind of want to paint him a kind of somewhat expensive color. And I kind of want to just be like reckless and bold and ruthless with it and like go to the hidden tower and buy the paintbrush there. Wouldn't that be crazy? Because like, I don't know, we'll have to price compare a little, but I think I'm going to go over to my side account and transfer that pet to this account, right? Mmm, this is insane. And then we're, I'm just going to make a pet that I've always wanted, right? Because I do have the, I have the funds, even though I would really be dipping into, uh, I mean, it would be like half my money. 
Whatever though, bitch. Honestly, this is me. I'm a Libra. I'm not going to save money. I hate that it's so boring. Saving up for what? You know, at any given point, some other big plot could happen, which I also really wanted to keep talking about the lore too. You know, at the same time, I don't know. I kind of want to do that just like for a crazy, like unhinged, like thing. Because you know what? Something I did once, and I'm going to get a scratch card while we talk. But one time I did this, and I'm, I still look back and I'm like, am I proud that I did this or not? Because I can't remember the, his name. So I started this account that I'm playing on now in like 2018, I think. It was like my big Neopets renaissance after I stopped playing as a kid. And uh, I had a P Chia. And if you know, you know, that is a big deal. Bitch, shut up. Like, he's so condescending. Sometimes he's like, ladies and gentlemen, we have a loser. Like, sometimes he says that. He, this is actually kind of nice, but sometimes he can be really, really, really mean. But I did have a P Chia. And they're so cute. They're like a little guy. And one day, and I was getting out of Neopets, and I just pounded him. I put him in the pound. I want to go see the snow ager. He's probably awake, but I'm, I love him. He's so cute. I think he's like adorable. I just want to go see. Oh, he's so cute. <gasps> he's sleeping. Oh, he's sleeping. I think that he does this at like certain times actually. Oh, he's sleeping. He's so cute. He's got like all this treasure and stuff. Let's attempt to steal some. Come on. I fucking hate this. Cause like I would not have left at this point. The snow ager awakes, looks straight at you, and then moans and goes back to sleep. You were lucky. He went back to sleep. Go in there. Get something. Get an egg or something. Come on, bitch. So yeah, that's the snow ager. He's so cute. Anyway, I had a, I had a peachia, right? Pretty rare pet. And let's go pound surf, actually, just for fun. I don't want to adopt anything unless I like unless I see something incredible and like unprecedented. But just while we talk, Smexiac. Come on, dude. Smexy Frankie, Smexy Baby. Like, guys, come on. It's Neopets. Anyway, I had this Peachia and I just pounded him, like, to, to be crazy. And I just wish I remembered his name because I would love to know how he is today. But some of these names of the pets in the pound are, like, so funny. But yeah, me and my friends have been finding some, like, wild, wild pets in the, in the pound lately. Bankroller 12, like, why? Chias are my life. Apparently not. You fucking stuck them in the pound, asshole. Oh, God. That poor uni had, like, the worst name ever. We hate to see it. We really hate to see it. These poor, badly named pets. Like, there's no hope for them. Super Dan. Like, I'm so sorry, buddy. Green Monkey King 92. Like, oh, rip, dude. Yeah, the pound is really, um, it's slim pickings today. Chias are apparently this person's life, but it doesn't look like it. Chias. Chias are like one of the funniest pets ever. I like that you can turn them into, oh, a Tonu. So this is a um, Max Haywood. <laughs> is that like a person? <laughs> That's Max Haywood, a Tonu. And Tonus are um, limited edition. So scoop them up. Scoop them up. You might not still be there, but you can always check. I think I'm just going to go get the pet that's on my other account, which again, I never do my dailies with. Please don't freeze my accounts. I swear, you said we could have a couple extras to have other pets, even though I can have 10 pets on this account now. Just please let me have this. Blargington. Dot rocks your world. Does she though? Yeah, I think, I think that there's nothing in the pound. So I'm going to go do that, I guess. I'm just going to go do that. I'm going to, so what I'm going to do is transfer a pet that I have on my other account that I got from the pound that has a great name that I have a vision for. And then I'm going to go get a paintbrush and I'm going to make a really cool pet that I've always wanted. One of my dreams that I have never had before and that I've always wanted. So, mm. all right, I got my new pet. But before I do that, I do have my thing for my fairy quest. So she increased Mosin's level. Thank you. So now I'm going to go show you my new pet. So this is Corvo, and I love that name. I think it's really cool, Corvo. And I love Eerie. He's got to be one of my favorite genders. Um, so cute, but he's not done yet because I've always wanted a Darigan Eerie. And if you don't know what he looks like, if you don't know what that looks like, the best example of a Darigan Eerie that I could ever muster that my soul could ever muster to you. Let me go see if I can find him. Is he still there? Okay, so there's this character. No, I think he's gone. Didn't they like, they chased him out or something? He's like a bad guy. There's this place you can go. You can look at all the bad guys, the book of villains or something. Remember that? What's that? <laughs> where is that or something? Or where where is that? The book of villains? 
You know what I'm talking about? Where do you find that again? Because like you used to find it. I don't know. I don't know where you find it. I'm going to have to Google it. I'm just going to have to Google him, actually. Evil citizens of... Oh, that's not a good picture of him. That's not a good picture of him. I'll find a better picture of him. But this is Lord Cass. Let me find a better picture of him before I read about him because I really want you to know the gravity of the situation. This is Lord Cass. Come on, retweet your furry crush. It's Neopets. Doesn't it not count if it's Neopets? That's Lord Cass, okay? So I we, we had to like really be against him and against his agenda but it was hard for me to do that that was hard for me lord cass right like how dare you lord cass these are all why are these like tiny pictures come on where's the good lord cass content <sighs> see look at him what is wrong with him nothing he's perfect so in 2004 lord cass took control of the dargan sidel Sayadel. How do you say that? I've always read that word in my head, but I don't know how to say it. <laughs> Take me to school. I need to learn how to read words. <laughs> Please. I don't know how to fucking say that. Sayadel. That's always what I said, but I, there's an A there. Anyway, Lord Cass. Oh, he's bad. He's bad. He took control of everything. He was you used dark means like blackmail bribery and intimidation in order to gain power after Lord Darigan's downfall. And Lord Darigan, by the way, really not as hot as Lord Cass, really not. Because like, if you look him up on Google, you will like see, you'll actually see that he's not hot. <laughs> like that's Lord Darigan. What am I supposed to do with that? He's like a man. Like, what is he? Is he a Corbat? Is he supposed to be like a mutated Corbat? Like, what is he? What is Lord Darigan, if you don't mind me asking? He's like a, yeah, he's a, supposedly, it says supposedly, he's supposedly a Corbat. <laughs> what? What? He's a Corbat like being Darigan. Yikes, dude. He turned good too. He initially wanted what was best for the people. And apparently, Mr. Lord Cass did not want that. He wanted, he was. Too, he was bad. Look at them fighting with swords and stuff. Like, Lord Cass, you look so good, baby. <laughs> He's bad. He's a bad guy. He tried to, like, destroy Neopets. And I'm over here like, hey, baby, you need a back rub? <laughs> Shut up. Yeah, I liked him. Okay, fine. I'll admit it. I liked him. Not to, That's not to say, though, this is going to make things very complicated because now I'm going to tell you that like I want to make um, my eerie into a Darigan eerie because that's what Lord Cass is. But here's the line. In this, Here's the line. The pets that we have as our pets, they're not the same as these pets in the plots. Do you get what I mean? You probably don't because it doesn't make sense and we're all confused as well. But these pets that do the plots and stuff, they're like Zootopia pets and stuff. And they like walk around and have jobs and stuff. And then our pets die if we don't feed them. You know, like these pets are living their lives. They're ruling entire countries. They're like the government of this place. And they do all sorts of things. They have full lives. And then the pets that we have are the same species but they depend on us for everything in their life. We need to groom them and take them to school and stuff. So it is di it is different. I just wanted to read this really quick because I've never read this. Driven insane by invisible demons. That's so sad. Lord Cass, you have demons. I can fix him. I really, no, guys, stop. Seriously, listen to me. I think I can fix him. Like, I think I, I think I know how to fix him. Anyway, this this former general in Lord Darigan's army rose to power after his master's downfall. Oh, so slimy. Through underhand means, he slowly took control of the Darigan Sidel. I'm not saying that right, but whatever. That loomed over the happy realm of Merida and used his influence to build an army, an army that he would use to try to conquer the lands below. What are his motives? Only he knows. Can he be stopped now that his magical spell on King Skarl has worn off. A heroic band of knights has started to mobilize against him. Will he succeed with his plan? Only time will tell. Like, this is old. He didn't succeed. It's too bad. Really? <laughs> but he's gone, I think. I don't think he's around anymore. It's just too bad. Anyway, I'm gonna just paint my new eerie Darigan, I think. So in Fairyland, if you don't already know, this is a known secret. There's a tower right here. Obviously, there's nothing there, but if you click that, 
There's the hidden tower. This is Queen Fiora, basically like the Jeff Bezos of Neopia, only she's not problematic, but she has all this like very, very expensive stuff and you can buy it from her. So I think one of, yes, here, here's the Dargan paintbrush, 1.4 million. Mm, there's a baby paintbrush. What other paintbrushes do you have here? Marasite paintbrush, 4 million, eh, not worth it. Royal Pet Pet paintbrush. I thought you had the Royal paintbrush here too. Y'all got rid of, oh, there it is, 1.7. Oh, that's not even as much as I thought it was. So that's, there's, that's an option. Or we can go to like the trading post, which does take a little longer. But we should probably price shop. Okay, 1.4. Ah, oh, mm, yeah, see, that's the exact, oh, nice, nice. Just one, d d one little bit less. Um, Lowest on trading post is auto. Oh, so this person's only asking... 1.3 million for this but it's like how do i how do we do this where's that person who said lowest so the lowest on the trading post how long has it been since you've been online like i want this now i want i want it right now under one day ago this person's on all the time 19 years holy shit good for you ava good for you i'm not trying to scam you i want a trophy I want a trophy so bad. I'm going to try to get a trophy. Oh, she's got so many fucking trophies. Girl, are you kidding me? Holy shit. I mean, for 19 years, though, you know, you better. Anyway, um, she said lowest. Lowest, make an offer. Hmm. Hmm. And I could save, what, 100,000 Neo points? That's a lot. That is a lot. I mean, I wait 30 days for Trudy to give me that. So it's like... That's kind of a lot. Oh my God, I can't believe I'm doing this. This makes me just slightly sick. <gasps> Ugh. Oh, it makes me kind of sick, but whatever. Okay, I'm just gonna do it. I'm just gonna do it. You said lowest on trading post and I saw one for 1.3. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna offer you 1.3, okay? I'm sorry, I don't have good items. It's offensive. I feel like it's kind of offensive though to, <laughs> to offer like some shit item but I don't have any good items currently on me. Or right, I'm just gonna offer that jelly. I guess that's so offensive, I think, but I don't want her to have my book of UFOs. Uh, okay, so I made the offer. We'll see, okay, we'll see. And in the meantime, I'll just freak out. How about that? Yeah, we'll see. All right, I went and took the dogs out and, oh my God, my offer was accepted, right? Is that, oh my God, really? Wait, really? Do I have a Dargan paintbrush in my bitch? Oh my God. Oh my God. It's been so long since I've, actually it hasn't been so long. I just did it the other day. <laughs> I was gonna say, it's been so long since I painted a pet. No, it hasn't, bitch. You just, do you love to blow money? You Libra. Okay, so I have a Dargan paintbrush. Look at this, This it's humming. That means that they're really rare. These paintbrushes were found in Lord Dargan's floating. Why do you haunt me with this word? Sidel. You know what? Pronunciation. Citadel. 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 Okay, that's it. <laughs> didn't expect that. No, that's just a little shocking. I just didn't think it was that. Citadel. That I've never heard anybody say that word out loud. Why aren't we talking about citadels, <laughs> is the question. It's all you guys' fault, not mine, for not saying it enough. Um, so that I could, like, copy you and learn how to be a human. Okay, so these paintbrushes were found in Lord Dargan's floating a citadel. Did you know that? Did you know? So, you can't paint your pet here. You have to go to Little Miss Rainbow Pool. Is that what it's called? Oh, my God. I can't believe I'm doing this. I can't believe I blew... 1.3 million dollars. I mean, Neo Point, same thing. So you have to go to the Rainbow Pool. Ah, I have a paintbrush. Oh my God. Okay. And it's going to be Cor Corvo. Like, that's such a cool name for a Dargan Eerie. Wow. So, anyone, what if I just like fucking recklessly painted one of these bitches Dargan? Okay, I'm going to about to press a button. I'm going to press a button. I'm going to do it. This is the thrill I live for, honestly. Oh my God, Corvo! You look so fucking 
God. Hold on. Oh my God. I got to go show my friends right fucking now. I can't wait. I can't let them see this if they're online. Like if they're playing Neopets right now and they see this. Yeah, I took a screenshot. I'm going on to Discord. I need to tell my friends right now. If you're not a part of our Discord, it is patron only just because like we like to keep things like exclusive. But it's like, I mean, up to only $1 a month, you know, if you just want to join for the Discord. And, you know, I hate to be that bitch. I really do. Honestly, I feel so bad. But I really do I think that makes our community better and safer and stuff. So look what I did impulsively. I can't not spend my money, but he's so beautiful and worth it. Send. How's everybody else doing? How are y'all doing? Somebody's a car. I got sick. Oh no, Audrey. Prayers. Sending up prayers to you. Corvo. Corvo. That's like such a good name for him. Oh my God. I'm sick to my stomach in the best way possible. I'm sick, Corvo. I'm so sick. And you know what sucks? It's like I'm so scared of Bucci that I always make Mosin my active pet. Not that he's not my fave. Like he's one of my faves. He was like my first one on this account. And I love him. But then he all he always gets like all the accolades, like the fairies, they bless him and stuff. And it's like, I want Corvo to be my active pet, but there's this little bitch, right? And back when I was a young Neopian just trying to survive and I didn't have money for a pet, uh, for a baby paintbrush, I was always like, why do people complain about Bucci? Like, because basically the Bucci random event, like Bucci is like a villain who who goes around and like you get a random event every once in a while my random events are so funny I should show you some of mine because I have the worst luck like there it's just it's always just like shitty like slap in the face random events but every once in a while you get a random event and it can either be the best day of your life or the worst <laughs> because the baby paintbrush is only like 600,000 neo points which is a lot but it's not as much as like <laughs> the Dargan paintbrush for example or the stealthy paintbrush or like if I had my Moroccan like imagine the fucking heartbreak I would oh, if I had my Moroccan either my Drake or what will someday be my Moroccan Lutari and then Bucci fired his ray gun because what Bucci does is he um, he transforms the your active Neopet into the color baby. And so Bucci is both loved and hated, like literally that, because like, it's like you could have just a regular ass pet and maybe like want a baby paintbrush and you're like saving up for one, which used to be me. I was always like, Bucci, are you there? It's me, Amanda. I'm just praying that today will be the day. Um, I'm saving up my pennies for the baby paintbrush, but it looks to be, it's projected to take me another three years based on because I don't know what to do other than play games. So I was just playing my little game, but I'm not good at the game. So it's probably gonna take me three to four years. Could you just please zap my pets? But then there's people who have had, uh, they've had their like pets that they've spent millions on get zapped by Bucci. Is there like literally, is there is there a way to protect your pets from Bucci, from this menace? I wonder, like, is there some item I can give my pet to protect him? Because I want like, it's like you can't have a pet be your main unless they're baby, you know? So I always make Mosin be my main, my active. Like right now, Corvo's out in the open. He's so cute, Corvo. That's his name. I like that his name's Corvo because it reminds me of Corvid, which is the scientific name of the family of like crows, the birds. Ah, I love him so much. Yeah, here's the lineup. Not too shabby. Not too fucking shabby. Yeah, I'm pretty proud of my Neopets, honestly. Um, I just love Neopets so much. I'm I'm really hopeful and excited for the future of Neopets because they said that they're working on the whole like flash thing, which is really embarrassing and cringy for them right now. But if they fix it, then there's nothing they can't do. Like you guys hate money or something. Like, do you guys hate money? Like if you fix the site and like optimized it and shit or did whatever everybody would come back to Neopets. Like you would have, I'm talking Neopets renaissance. That's what I'm saying. There could be a huge resurgence of Neopets because this is like, it's really, there's so much potential here. Like the, the plots and stuff. Like if you would just go back to what you used to be, I'm telling you there, there's something there and it's beautiful. And it, there's the heart is still beating, but it's like just barely. And I want to preserve that so bad. I want to bring it back. And I just, I just see a lot of potential here. So I'm going to keep play in Neopets. I'm so happy that I got so many of my friends into it. Again, be careful about the data breach thing, please. Just be careful, please, about that. 
and yeah, I just, I'm excited to keep playing. I mean, I'm, I'm excited that I just got to do like at least one little video with you guys. I don't know how many I'll do. If you like, if you like this, then I'm playing it. So might as well just record myself while I do it. And I really do want to do a video like going over all the plots of Neopets and maybe even like a, I don't know, tier list of all the hotties of Neopets because I didn't even get to talk about most of them just let me know let me know if you were into this if you like neopets if you remember if you were there if not let me know if i sound like a crazy person and thank you for watching this video i love you